Hello, I'm Adrian, and today we're taking an in-depth look at Iron Man's fighting style in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Iron Man became a household name with his introduction in his first solo film way back in 2008, and has since gone on to become one of the most recognized and commercially successful superheroes in the world. He most recently starred in Avengers Infinity War, and now seems to be a great time to determine just how many fighting styles Iron Man is familiar with. If you're a fan of superheroes, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and watching my other videos, as I've already analyzed other Marvel superheroes including Black Panther, Captain America, and Spider-Man. I've also already made videos breaking down the individual fight scenes in Captain America Civil War extensively, going into camera angles, choreography, and story. But today we will be focusing exclusively on Iron Man. The goal of these videos is to figure out just how many fighting styles our combatant is familiar with by analyzing the specific moves featured in their fight scenes and pairing them with the martial art or fighting style which most aptly represents those moves. And yes, to clarify, there is a huge amount of crossover in martial arts techniques. A technique that is present in one fighting style may also be present in another, but in order to not give combatants multiple fighting styles for the sake of variety, I have instead opted to list the most apt fighting style that best represents that particular technique. Also, there are various degrees of knowing a fighting style. And although one may know elements of something, that doesn't mean I'm saying the fighter I'm talking about is a master in every style I mention. This analysis relies solely on what has so far been seen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or in other words, the skills Tony Stark has demonstrated in Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Avengers Infinity War, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Captain America Civil War. Fighting styles that Iron Man may know in the comics or any other medium do not count. Without further ado, let's take a look at how many fighting styles Iron Man knows in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Before we even begin to cover Iron Man's hand-to-hand -hand abilities, we need to first point out his main form of attack, and that is basically firing practically every projectile known to man. Whether it be his repulsors or his various types of missiles, you can rest assured that Iron Man has some sort of projectile weapon to shoot you with. And as demonstrated in Civil War, he doesn't necessarily have to rely on his internal targeting systems, as the extensive practice he's had on the battlefield has given him ample training in being able to target and shoot. What this skill mostly resembles in real life is combat shooting. Combat shooting is very similar to action shooting in that competitors go from target to target trying to be as accurate as possible, but the difference is that in combat shooting there's a very big emphasis in refining one's technique for situations that would arise in, you guessed it, combat. The United States Marine Corps actually uses their stages as ways to train for things like long range accuracy, movement, and transition between guns. They use it to pinpoint deficiencies in their training. Considering how well Iron Man has adapted to switching between different firearms on the battlefield, it's safe to say he's pretty much a self-taught combat shooter. I mean, the guy can fire a submachine gun while pirouetting in the air for crying out loud. The next building block in Iron Man's fighting style is comprised mainly of punching. Whenever he's not shooting someone with a perfectly placed repulsor blast, he's most undoubtedly throwing an excellent super-powered punch. As I've explained several times before in my other fighting styles videos, which you are more than welcome to check out by clicking on the playlist link in the description of this video, there are several different philosophies behind punching. And the one which most closely resembles Iron Man's style is boxing. This makes complete sense since when he's in his suit, he doesn't have much maneuverability in his hands due to his bulky armor, so his gauntlets act as boxing gloves. To punch in boxing, you curl your hand into a fist and rocket it forward with the help of your torso while twisting your wrist to add in as much torque and power as possible. In boxing, the four main ways of punching are the jab, cross, hook, and uppercut. Take a look at this incredible Iron Man uppercut, a great example of good technique backed by fantastic technology. Or how about this super powered cross scene right here? Awesome stuff. As further proof of his boxing knowledge, he even trains with Happy in Iron Man 2. Sure, he throws an elbow and calls it MMA, but in this situation, Happy is more than correct in calling it dirty boxing. You're not going to pick up the ball while playing soccer and call it rugby. And yes, to clarify, mixed martial arts is not literally a style of fighting, but it's instead exactly what its name implies it is. MMA is a full contact combat sport that allows striking and grappling techniques from different martial arts. So in other words, if a man goes into an MMA fight with a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai background, he's a mixed martial artist. His fighting style is not mixed martial arts. Thus Iron Man will not have mixed martial arts as a fighting style. Sometimes Iron Man finds himself out of the suit, but still in a situation where he needs to fight. And in this case, Tony Stark tends to rely on Wing Chun Kung Fu. Wing Chun is a traditional southern Chinese Kung Fu that specializes in close range combat. As a matter of fact, Robert Downey Jr. is an actual avid practitioner of this particular martial art. Yes, you are in fact seeing Robert Downey Jr. right now, not some stunt double. He has really great technique and it would be fantastic to see it incorporated more into his hand-to-hand -hand stuff in the films. Remember that awesome slow-mo fight scene from Sherlock Holmes? Yep, that's Wing Chun right there. 
Returning to Iron Man, as it stands, we see the briefest glimpses of Wing Chun during this one particular exchange in Iron Man 3. One of the main tenets of Wing Chun, and many forms of Kung Fu for that matter, is trapping. Notice how Tony Stark quickly deflects that incoming punch and holds it for the briefest of seconds before he counterattacks? That act of momentarily immobilizing an opponent's limbs to give you a brief opportunity to strike while he cannot is called trapping. Putting ourselves right back into the Iron Man suit, we move on to the next martial art that Iron Man seems to be familiar with, and that is Muay Thai. Muay Thai is a martial art which favors brutal close quarters techniques. Elbows and knees are absolutely critical to Muay Thai, and they are part of what is known as the art of eight limbs, since you also use them in your fighting arsenal besides your traditional punches and kicks. Elbows and knees are best suited for close quarters attacks as you don't need to extend your whole arm or leg. In Iron Man's case, as per usual, he can add so much more power to his strikes by using his suit thrusters, whether it be performing an insane knee strike or elbow strike, or even his rocket-powered elbow counterattack he unleashes on Cap, Iron Man can always add in an extra oomph to his hits. Iron Man is also familiar with kicking, but not to the extent that I would go ahead and add Taekwondo to his list of fighting styles. Kicking is a part of several martial arts, and the kicks that Iron Man is fond of using, besides the knee strike mentioned earlier, are actually performed in several martial arts as well. I usually attribute Taekwondo to the kicker if we go into complex techniques that are unique to the fighting style and not usually seen in others, such as a spin hook kick, tornado kick, or spinning back kick. Iron Man doesn't perform any of these or other complex kicks. Instead, the first kick he performs is the always reliable roundhouse kick. He does a supercharged roundhouse on Thanos in Avengers Infinity War, and if I had the footage to show you, trust me, I would. But I can't, as that film has not been released on Blu-ray yet. As it stands, I saw the film twice and can confirm it's definitely in there. And again, the roundhouse kick is in Taekwondo, but is present in other martial arts as well. The roundhouse kick is accomplished by swinging your leg around in a semicircular motion, striking with the front of the leg or foot. There are a huge amount of variations of the technique, and some you snap your leg sideways at the last second, and some you kick through the target instead of at it, etc. The second kick Iron Man is fond of is a kick that you are extremely familiar with. It's a kick that virtually every other combatant has used in this How Many Fighting Style series. It's a kick that many of you are already saying in your heads, if not out loud. It's the kick that has defined a generation. All right, it's a bit too much. It's the Bush Kick! And since he is Iron Man, he once again uses his thrusters to turn it into a super-powered push kick. And believe it or not, I did see some people in the comments mention they were not familiar with the push kick in my Black Panther video, so the formal explanation is as follows. It's accomplished by lifting the knee and effectively pushing forward by extending your leg. It can be done with a pushing motion, or with more of a blunt snapping motion, but the travel arc remains the same. In addition to the roundhouse kick and push kick, if you look really closely, Iron Man briefly used a front kick. As such, I will be attributing his skill in kicking to his familiarity with Muay Thai, as these previous techniques are also seen in that martial art. But besides striking techniques, Iron Man is also familiar with a couple throwing and grappling techniques. And one of the best martial arts suited for that is Judo. Yes, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu also excels in this area, but that one is mainly focused with fighting on the ground. And the techniques Iron Man demonstrates much more closely resemble Judo. Judo is generally categorized as a modern martial art and later evolved into a combat and Olympic sport. Its most prominent feature is the objective to either throw or take down an opponent to the ground, and then immobilize or otherwise subdue said opponent with a pin or force a submission with a joint lock or choke. In Iron Man's case, he frequently finds himself in situations where throwing an opponent to the ground will effectively stop or slow down the incoming threat. Iron Man demonstrates one of the clearest judo techniques in his battle with the Hulk. As the Hulk is barreling towards him, Iron Man actually uses Hulk's momentum against him by simply flipping him over with the help of his foot, a tried and true judo technique. So in conclusion, how many fighting styles does Iron Man know? They are Combat Shooting Boxing Wing Chun Muay Thai and Judo. Which brings us to a grand total of 5 fighting styles. Which is your favorite fighting style? What do you think of Infinity War? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for more superhero and film content. See you next time.